simply have to focus on this man. Up against his former club, will he make an impact live on EA TV? Well, hello, wherever you happen to be, we find ourselves about 20 minutes just to the east of the Manchester City Centre. A rainy day here at the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester City, and they face Brentford. Well, the atmosphere is building nicely here, and we've got two teams who like to play good football. Let's hope we get a good game here. It should be. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Ruben Dias plays alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Mateo Kovacic starts alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And here's the starting 11 for Brentford. Well, plenty of attacking width in this 4-3-3, but they'll need to get their midfield players to join the centre forward as much as possible. If not, he'll become isolated. Mateo Kovacic. De Bruyne now. Well, he's featured on the back pages of quite a few newspapers in recent days, playing against his old club, and I wonder what's going through his mind, Stuart. Well, he shouldn't approach this differently to any other game. He's just got to forget the crowd and go out and play. De Bruyne. It was a successful day at the office for Manchester City in their last game as they won against West Ham. Expectations for this game. That away victory was a really good performance. And when you look at the two teams today, I'd expect them to win again. They should be too strong for their opponents here. This looks interesting. Takes on the shot. That he did well to win it back. Rodri. Doku. De Bruyne now. Well, it's a pretty low line at the moment. Keeping it moving dynamically. Walker. Here's Kovacic. Jeremy Doku on to Holland. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Erling Holland. Real chance. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. And that's going to result in a goal kick. Well, City will count themselves unlucky not to have taken the lead there because that was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. What a stop that was. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Alfonso Davies. Doku. And the ball with Alfonso Davies. Well, there's been a goal at the Amex Stadium, so let's quickly send it over to Alex. It's a goal for Brighton. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space, and it was a beautiful headed finish. It's all even Stevens at 1 1 with 10 minutes to half time. Alex keeping us right up to date. Walker. Holland. He's in here. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really.
And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Rodri. De Bruyne now. Alfonso Davies. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. It's now for him. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. Put in by De Bruyne. And there we have it. That brings to an end the first half. It's... Second half underway, with City looking to build upon a positive first-half performance. Rodri. De Bruyne. Jeremy Doku. Well, changing circumstances in the Liverpool game. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. Yeah, second one for Nottingham Forest. They're ahead by two now, with 49 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Ruben Dias. De Bruyne now. Mateo Kovacic. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, he's a great talent. Hopefully this move will see him play these best week in, week out. It's a really good move for everybody. And Bumo. Now with Allaire. Oh, that surely had to go in. But marvellous defending. Now, let's see what they can do here. Electing to shoot. Well, all doing their bit to keep them out. certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point Stuart well Derek after a slow start when he was tightly marked he got better and better as the first half went on and he got his reward with that goal I'm looking forward to his second half display Holding on to what they have is the priority, apparently. Brentford doing well to regain possession. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, he's gone back and shown him a yellow card, Stuart. Well, that was a poor challenge. The referee wasn't going to forget that, was he? Corner kick played in. But fisted away by the goalkeeper. Mikael Damsgaard. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. And there's the feed into the box. Oh, a tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Over and comes. That's the clearance that was needed. And possibilities here. Well, body in the way. We start. Can he find the net? Holland. Well, I'll tell you what, we're excited about this game already. Live coverage, as always, on EA TV. It's Manchester City against... This could level it. Can they cover up? Tremendous block. Well, this might be the final opportunity to... Draw level. And over comes the corner. Well, still an issue here. A glorious chance. Got to it easily, the keeper. The 
effective piece of pressing. He's in with a chance. He's missed the chance, and they're still behind, Stuart. Well, you always hope for one more big chance in the game, and that was it. Not sure they'll get another now. Right, Alex, it's over to you, because I understand there's been a goal at the Amex Stadium. Well, it could be on for him here. And agonising for them. A certain chance to square this game. Well, you can't get away from it. That's a wasted chance to get back on level terms here. Well, time tackle. This could be the equaliser. But no, when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. Well, that could be a key moment. They have to take those sort of chances. They won't get too many more. But let's credit the goalkeeper. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. And that's very confident goalkeeping in not easy circumstances. And there goes the final whistle. A real sense of feel good for City. Okay, both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. Just got a couple of questions for you. Thanks for...